Jules, interesting stuff regarding Ed Woodward talking about the financial situation of the club, confirming that it's now not what four hundred and thirty million pounds in debt. Uh, describing the coronavirus as an extraordinary and testing period for the club. I suppose fans want to know how this will affect the potential transfers over the summer. Yes, you're right. The bad news is that the debt has increased, as you would expect after what happened in the last two months, really. And, and again, I think Woodward was quite honest in his answers about it. And I think every club, if Manchester United are impacted in that way, you could expect every other club to be impacted in a very similar way, probably even worse. But you're right, the big question is how much would have impact the transfer window and what United have for their plans this summer. It looks like from the, 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 the results and the numbers that we've had, that is, there is a cash reserve of £90 million, pounds, which, is, which is a lot of money. And then there's also a possibility to get to an, another one of £150 million as well. So clearly the money is there. That doesn't mean that United will spend all that money. They can very be cautious and not to spend too much in, in the summer. But at least you know that even if the debt has increased and even if the numbers are not very good right now, because of the pandemic, there's still enough cash for them to spend in the summer. I mean, that's a lot of money, Jules. And as you mentioned, you know, if United are in this situation, other clubs who, of course, have got less sort of funds around the world are going to be a lot worse off. You're right. And that's why we've been saying for a few weeks now that United are in a very strong position, which, which is very good for them because they're almost in a unique position in the sense that they have that firepower financially that a lot of other, even big clubs, will not have this summer. So it could make a difference when you go for a Sancho or when you go for Ben Yedder, for example, when you go to all those targets that they will have defensively and, and attacking-wise as well in all those departments, all the players that they've, they've shortlisted already, they will be stronger than, than everybody else probably. Again, that doesn't mean that they will spend 500 million or mm. go crazy about the numbers and everything, but at least they've been in a very strong position to continue their rebuilding of their squad. Uh, more on Manchester United a little bit later on, but let's talk uh, now about the return of football in the Premier League. Some significant developments over the last 24 hours. We knew that a Watford player had tested positive. That's been revealed to be Adrian Mariapa. He's speaking in an interview talking about his asymptomatic, that he was blindsided by it, completely surprised. Also news as well that Kante has been given sick leave by the club. He is allowed to be off because he is not comfortable to come back training given the current pandemic. This adds to the list. Danny Rose, we've heard, of course, before. Troy Deeney as well. Not coming back to training. How is this going to impact the return of action, Jules? Well, it'd be very interesting to, uh, to keep an eye on all of that because there's also a lot of other players who are not very keen who might not have come back yet either, who don't, don't want to come back, don't want to come back even training in a small group with no contact, let, let alone training with contact and later on playing. So I think that there will be more, maybe many more, we don't know exactly how many, but it's true that when you look about that list, Dini and, and Conte especially, and Golo Conte being very honest, saying like, listen, we've had uh, family medical history, his brother died two years ago, nothing to do with COVID-19, but of a heart attack, there's, there's clearly some issues for Conte to think like, you know what, I can't take any risk of getting the virus myself, contracting it myself, and then maybe passing it on to some of my family. I believe he's self-isolating with some members of his family as well, and he, he doesn't feel it's safe enough, and I think we have to respect how he's feeling right now. Thanks so much for watching ES for watching ES on YouTube and for more sports highlights and analysis be sure to download the ESPN app and for premium content and live streaming streaming the ESPN plus